tutorial, we look at how to connect a acceleration and gyro sensor, the MPU6050, to our board. And before we do that, we have a closer look at the chip, and I go for the other camera uh, to show you. So what we have here is we have the chip, and uh, the nice thing is it can be connected via I2C, which is the I2C bus. And so we don't need many connections. So we have to connect VCC, ground, SCL, the clock, and SDA, the data. The others we can ignore. They can be used if you use multiple of them to have different addresses, etc. But we only need four connections, and we connect them uh, to the I2C bus. And the interesting thing is the I2C bus is already used for the display. Let's have a quick look at our, um, let's get it here, at the pinout. So what you can see here, there is uh, something it's called OLED uh, SCL and OLED SDA. This is our I2C bus. And bus means I can connect multiple uh, yeah, devices to it. So what we do now, we connect our chip to this bus, and uh, I just do that, and let's get started. So what I have, I have uh, black, which I connect to ground, and red, I connect to VCC. And this one uh, runs with 3.3 uh, volts, so we can just connect it to 3.3 volts. And then I connect uh, here green to SCL and uh, blue to SDA. So we can see that here. And now let me connect uh, the red one goes to 3.3 volts. The black one goes to ground. And now I have to look again. So we have green on SCL. SCL is our pin 15. So green goes to uh, 15. And blue is connected here to SDA and SDA is pin number four. So let's have a quick look how we have connected uh, this. I switch to the other uh, camera. So what we see here, we have ground, 3 volt, and then uh, 15 for SCL, and 4 uh, for SDA. And here we have uh, the connection which is uh, SDA is blue, SCL is green, and uh, ground and uh, power. So with this we have everything connected uh, that we need, and now we uh, just have to uh, get it programmed. So let's connect it. So now I have physically connected and uh, just, yeah, let's also connect the device. So the interesting thing is we use the I2C bus and we have used this before for the display. So let's get uh, the stuff we needed for the display. And this was the driver for the display. Uh, this is SSD 1306 and the display test just to see that the display works. Because that's the same bus, and then we can take that code and extend it from there. So here we have this, our pin is 15 and four, and let me just run this and see if this works. And as you see, uh, we have it here on the screen. So this code is working. Now, what do I need to uh, address this one? So I also need a library and there are a number of libraries out there for uh, the MPU6050. There are also other chips like the MPU9250 that have even more components inside. And I 
decided to use this one. And here uh, I need two parts of the library. I need imu.py and I need uh, vector3d.py. Uh, and uh, if you look at, there is uh, something described also. Here is how we use it. This is for the other chip, but we go step by step. So we need uh, two files and uh, we can look at the UML diagram. Let's perhaps see that. So uh, there is something for uh, the more complex sensors and we can use this one directly to uh, yeah, read out our sensor. And now let's uh, just, we need imu.py uh, and we need uh, the 3D, vector3d.py. So let me copy them over. So I've downloaded them and I'm just copying them over. So there's the, uh, it's a bit bigger. So IMU and also the other one is Vector 3D. I put it over here. And with this, I can now start uh, to look at how I build something from here. And uh, we have seen now our I2C bus works. And I just start a new file. And uh, I have something prepared here. And we go through it uh, step by step. So what I do is I import I2C. That's the bus we need to run. And we need to import uh, this library, uh, MPU650. That's the chip we're using from the module IMU. Then we set up the I2C bus. We then uh, set up our chip with this I2C bus. And then we can print the acceleration, the gyro, the temperature. And we can also print individual axes. So let's see if this works. Uh, I first save it and I call it test point one. And we have done that before. So now let's see what happens. And obviously this is not writing onto the display of the chip that's writing to uh, our serial console. So let's see what happens. So what we see, once we run it, we get these values. Now, obviously, in order to see if something is changing, we would rather have it in a loop. So let's uh, do that here. While true. And what we uh, do is we just print out the acceleration and then we sleep for one second and then we print out more acceleration and I just uh, comment these out because acceleration is very easy where we can see we just hold it and uh, in order to do this we need uh, from time import sleep. So let's see so what we have is we go into a loop we print every second the acceleration on the serial line. So let's get this started. And we see here, this is the acceleration vector. And now what I do is I <coughs> hold this one face down. And uh, if you look at the last value, that's minus one. And if I put it the other way around, it is one. So the last value is uh, the set axis. And this is basically the one which I can turn this way so this is minus one g and this is one g now we can look which is the other axis if i hold this this way it's the second it's y it's uh, one or close to one if i hold it the other way around it is minus one then there is one axis remaining this is the first one this way around it is one and if i hold it the other way around it is uh, about minus one. So uh, our sensor works. And this is the basic way to use it. Now I have uh, prepared one more where we use it uh, together with the display. And I show you uh, this file. And what we do is uh, 
we print all the things out on the uh, on the display. So let's start with what we have here. Okay, so we import I2C and PIN because we need that uh, to connect uh, the I2C bus. Then we import the display, we import uh, the whole module, we import uh, the MPU6050, and we import sleep that we can do a loop. We set up our I2C bus, uh, which is pin 15 for clock and pin 4 for data. Uh, we set up the display using this I2C bus and giving it a height and a uh, width. Then we set up our IMU, giving it the same I2C bus. They're on, they're on the same bus. If you would have further I2C sensors, we can also connect them there. Now what we do is we read X, Y, Z. This is the acceleration we just saw. And uh, we have X, G, Y, G, Z, G. That's the gyro values. And here there is still an error in there. I fixed that one. And then we have the temperature. I print the values to serial line, only the acceleration ones. And now I clear the display and I write on the display. I use uh, eight, uh, nine pixels, eight pixels and pixel nine. I start with the next line. So it's very crammed on the display, but I get all of it on there and I update it every 300 milliseconds. So uh, let's save this as test two. And uh, let's run it and let's see if it works. Oh, we get an error. So it says uh, line 44. Oh, there is also still, there is one bracket too many. So let's try again. Okay, and now if we look at the uh, display, we can see it shows the display. And in order to do this well, I just switch to the other camera. So let's uh, switch to the other camera. So you can see now the values and now I can do this in real time. So this is one of the values. As we look now, uh, this is sort of, we just look at the first three values and you can see there is one, it doesn't work. Let's try the other way around. So this is the third value. So set is minus one if I go this way. And if I turn it around, set goes to one. So the third line. Now let's try this. Let's try this one. So this is now the first line. X is uh, close to minus one. If I turn it the other way around and I look at it, X is, is one. And it seems uh, my second one is not working and I already spotted the error. It's there, It's uh, I mistyped it here. So what I do now, Let's try this one. So I uh, have a copy and paste error and let's start it again. So now let's see, uh, this is the second value. It's minus one. If I put it the other way around, it is about one. Uh, if I go this axis, uh, I can see the second value is close this is sort of the first value and this gives the first value the other direction and so we can see in real time and this one is the third one again so one if it's this way around and minus one if it's uh, this way around so with this we have now connected uh, our sensor and I have corrected some of the code here. So I had a error here, uh, copy paste and I had an error here, copy paste. So I fixed this uh, and now this code uh, is working. 
And with this, you know how to connect the MPU uh, 6050 using the I2C bus. And if you have other I2C sensors, it works very much the same. So uh, you have to connect them to the uh, same pins as the other I2C devices. You just have to make sure they have different addresses. Uh, and with this, we're done here.